All right, I've got the uh, the figure set up, and what I've done is I've bent the uh, bottom of the uh, wire so that it has a uh, little, it'll take purchase in the uh, foam that I'm putting in, so it won't be moving around. None of the glue worked, <laughs> I guess because I'm using a very slick, oh, I'm sorry, my lunch is showing, uh, I have a very slick board, and because of that, the uh, glue did not uh, stick the wood to the uh, wood uh, base, and this didn't stick either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take some soft clay and just put it around the base so the foam won't be coming out from underneath the uh, cardboard enclosure. Time to play with some clay. Once the foam uh, is poured in, it'll stick to the board, I think. Well, actually, I can't guarantee that either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few screws in the uh, base or inside the uh, cardboard circle to act as anchors for the foam so it's not sliding around on the uh, board. I was going to have to do this anyway uh, with the uh, clay because I have to seal the bottom so it doesn't uh, leak. I put a screw under his uh, the wire foot of his leg and uh, that's just to hold him upright because uh, he fell over last night <laughs> and was on the floor this morning. All right, I'll be back when I get ready to uh, mix the uh, foam. All right, I've got uh, my urethane foam and it's an AB mixture. And I'm not going to tell you how to get it because if you're a underage and you order it and you use it and you get it all over you and your skin and uh, everything, I don't want to be responsible. If this is very dangerous stuff to work with. I got it on my leg last time because I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. And it's something that you gotta really know what you're doing before you play with it. I'm pouring equal parts into the cups and I'm coming up to a particular line on the cup to uh, measure it out properly. Now before I close this one off, because you've got to have every ounce of that fluid off your cap so that you can open it up the next time you want to use it. If you don't do that, you'll never get it open again. Alright. Now I just Pour the B solution into the cup. This is going faster than I thought it was going to, so I'll probably put a little clay on before I quit. Now you just mix it. It'll start getting warm in your hand. 
it's like plaster when it hardens it has a tendency to get warm I get nervous every time I use this stuff and I've used it many many times it saves a ton on on clay it's called taxidermy foam and if you uh, contact your local taxidermist he can tell you how to order some because they use it when they work with their uh, foam figures of animals and such I'm being very careful. It only takes a little bit. Okay, it's only been a couple of seconds or minutes since I poured it, and you can see that it's, uh, it was just a small, small amount. And it uh, fills out really nicely. I'm going to have to carve away a lot of this. All right, it's been a couple of minutes. It's uh, tacky, but it's firm. And that's as far as it's going to raise up. And it came up to the bottom of this foot, which I'm surprised it came that far up. And now it's uh, pretty well solid now. All right, I'm going to come back in a few minutes with a knife and uh, carve away on this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to use my power saw see if it works oh yeah i just want to cut the foam i don't That makes quick work of it right there. <laughs> I love this. You can see the impression it was left by the uh, foam and the uh, top of the uh, cardboard thing. gonna have to anchor my figure down I'm gonna save these pieces because I might use them later on for something else so I'm gonna set these aside I just gotta figure out where to put them okay I've got a Get all these 
fine granules of uh, foam swept up because this fine granule of soap, uh, foam does not mix well with soft clay. All right, I gotta make an armature to hold the uh, figure in place on top of this wood. Okay, Let's see if that works much better. Okay. I got enough, leave enough room on the top of the rock that he's going to be sitting on for his butt. So I'm leaving a little space there for that purpose. Now it's a matter of positioning his body. The reason I marked the joints with tape is so that I can know where to I kind of like that pose. We'll see how far I get along with it before I change my mind on it, though. Okay. I've got my board set up uh, for... Maybe my tabletop set up for rolling clay and forming it with uh, cutting boards that are clean and don't have any of the uh, foam on them. I guess to make sure I don't, I'm just going to wipe them off real quick. There we go. Yeah, I like the uh, pose. And now it's just a matter of figuring out what the heck I'm going to have him doing. All right, real quickly, I was going to quit for the night, but I think I'm going to go ahead and cover this foam so I don't have to deal with that tomorrow. The uh, little bits of uh, foam that uh, will sometimes get into the clay. So, Alright, I'll see you guys next time. I'm just going to quickly cover the foam so I don't have to deal with all the uh, little knobby and, and uh, floating things in the air from the uh, foam. The fine particles is what I'm talking about. Not a bad day. Didn't uh, have any accidents with the foam, finally. Like I did last time. And then I'll figure out... I'm going to form the rock when I get to that point. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that 
could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.